Hi and welcome to my channel. It's the 8th day of September here in Australia, so that's the 8th day of spring. And I know for those of you in the, in the Northern Hemisphere, you're still a couple of way, weeks away. And that's because here in Australia we, we start our seasons on the first day of the seasonal month. So for summer it's the 1st of December, for autumn or fall it's the 1st of March, 1st of June for winter and the 1st of September for spring. And so the reason behind that, uh, look I'm not too sure. I think when Australia and New Zealand were settled by the Europeans back in the uh, 1700s, they brought with them clocks and calendars and realising they were in the southern hemisphere, they had to decide on a date for the seasons. And I think they just settled on the first. It's easy and it suits us too because we don't have to remember the solstice and the equinoxes and things like that. So, uh, so anyway, it is what it is. So the reason for this video is because we are now in our spring in, in Australia. It's about swimming pools and uh, having to get into them or wanting to get into them in the, in the very near future. There's been many videos made of do-it-yourself pool heaters. Now we do have a pool heater here but uh, we've only been at this property for just on 18 months now. Um, it's a 13 year old property. It's on 3.6 acres and I'd never owned a pool before. I mean I'm, I'm 70 years of age and I've never owned a swimming pool before. So it was a new experience to me. Uh, one thing I did notice though that when the days got warmer here, probably in September, late September, early October, I was ready to go into the pool. <laughs> I, was, I was ready to jump in. I was very excited. However, it was freezing. The water is cold and it's cold here now, very cold. And it took some time for the, for the, uh, for the sun to heat the water up to a suitable temperature but you, your, your teeth weren't chattering and your, your skin wasn't turning blue. So knowing that we've got a heater here didn't help because the heater is just not working and the price that tradies or so-called tradies here in Australia want to come out and have a look at it and, and repair it, unlike possibly the United States where things are pretty cheap, here in Australia we get ripped off big time by tradies. So I thought it's probably just reasonable that I look at some other way to do it. I looked at YouTube and there are many, many videos on do-it-yourself solar water pool heaters. And I'm going to do one of those, but I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I've looked at the many of them that are on, the, on YouTube and many of them are very large units. And that's okay if you've got room to store the unit or you just want to or you just want to leave it outside during the the cold cold win winter months or the cooler months i didn't want to do that i wanted to be able to store the units away when not in use so i've settled on three smaller units each unit has 25 meters of poly pipe in each of the the units and they can be linked together with a hose the size that i settled on is roughly well, it is exactly, for here, 700 millimetres by 700 millimetres. Um, the reason I settled on that was I did some calculations on how large the box had to be to contain the 25 metres of poly pipe that would be housed inside. I miscalculated slightly, and that didn't turn out to be such a bad thing because it allowed some of the pipe to be used for plumbing at the back of the box. 700 millimetres for, the, for our friends, our imperial friends, is rough, roughly about 27 and a half inches. So it's 27 and a half inches square box with 25 metres of poly pipe inside. I plan to show you in this video, unlike a lot of other videos that I've had a look at, on how to actually construct these boxes and uh, and the poly pipe inside the whole unit basically I'm going to take you step by step it's not going to be a long tedious video I don't want I, I, I saw some of them and uh, you sit there and watch them put each screw in and you watch them do everything and it just it gets to a point where you just want to turn it off I've, I will speed the video up 
to take you through those portions so you're not sitting there watching those those boring those boring times so i plan to put in for our imperial friends the equivalent me measurements from metric into uh, into imperial and i don't expect you to follow these measurements exactly what this is doing it's providing you a starting point somewhere to get moving and do the construction for each one of these water pool heaters so let me show you these units before we go any further so what you see beside me here is one of three units that i constructed you can see that it's a square construction as I said before, it's 700 millimetres square, 27 and a half inches square, with 25 millimetres of poly pipe inside. There are also dowels in there to help keep the poly pipe in position. Once the water flows in, it'll become heavy and will want to flop over, and those um, dowels there will hold it in place. It's covered with a, a perspex finish on the, on the front of it and is plumbed at the back to take the water in at one point and out at the other point and these hose connections here will allow each of the three units to be linked together so inside there is not quite 25 meters it works out that around there is around about combined between the three units uh, 69 meters of poly pipe around about 246 feet of poly pipe for the water to pass through so I've ordered a pump from eBay so it hasn't arrived yet due to uh, what's going on at the moment so when that arrives I will make a second video so this will be part one of two videos this being the construction and the second video will look at the efficiency of the uh, the temperature of the water coming out and uh, hopefully heating up this quite cool water at the moment i'm not too sure how it's how it's going to work there are differing opinions on youtube as to the ones that have been constructed and the ones that i've looked at but i'm hoping it'll work uh, there's always room to make another one if i wanted to but i'm thinking with the sun it's quite warm now and we're somewhere around about the 10.30 I think it is in the morning of the 8th of September the sun is quite warm and uh, and I can just I can all I can feel the back of this box now which has only been here for probably uh, five ten minutes it's already getting warm from the sun and it's not not receiving full uh, full energy because of the way it's situated so obviously with all solar units you need to turn them and direct them to get full efficiency from the from the sun so I think uh, what I'll do now is we'll head into the video I will try to give as I said before measurements both in metric and imperial I'll take you through step by step but don't feel that you have to copy this exactly it'll be up to you on how you want to do it this will only provide you with a guide on the construction phase and look uh, it's not perfect people will see some faults in the way that i've constructed this and uh, i'm prepared for that i'm not uh, a qualified trades person in in this field so I'm, I'm winging it but take it for what it is and i hope it provides you with somewhere to begin uh, this exercise if, th if that's what you want to do so let's get into it
Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. As I said before, it's only a guide for you, and I hope that you got something out of it. If you have any questions, please, please feel free to ask. If I can, if I can assist, I certainly will. I'll, I read all the comments, so please feel free. I think it's fairly self-explanatory. I don't think there will be many questions. I, I think I, I'm not doing this to to uh, make any any money out of it. I've got eight subscribers, so I'm not going to make money out of it. Um, it's just to assist you. So if you feel you need to be negative, don't bother, please. So thanks again for, for watching. The next video, as I promised, will be testing the efficiency of these units to see what the temperature of the water is out of the pool, what's going in after it circulates through those 69 metres of polypipe, which is directed toward the sunlight. I'm hoping that I should be able to run this for maybe, let's say, four hours a day for a couple of weeks, and I think I should start to see some changes in the water temperature. Again, thank you very, very much for, for uh, sitting through this video and I, I appreciate your time uh, and I will appreciate your positive comments. So until the next video, thank you very much. All the best from halfway to Bet Bet. Bye bye now.